Does this look like a pile or a pillar to you? The reality is it's a pile, a damn good looking pile too. We're in the basement car park of Coburn Central Car Park. The reason we're here is to look at Airy Taylor Consulting's patented piles to pillars technology that allows them to build substructures like no one else in the world. We're about to talk to some people about why this is so good. We're here with Andrew Byers, representative of the ownership of Coburn Gateway, asking a couple of questions about the project. So what made you consider something different for, for this particular project? Um, Peter suggested it, it was available, so we had a, had a try of it. So what were the benefits for you as the owners? In summary, we were able to deliver a faster project um, with substantial cost savings. And ultimately, would you use and recommend this innovation for future projects? Certainly would. No, it um, has worked very well. We're here at the Bucken Group to talk to Ken Musto, the architects for the project. Ken, why would you go with something that you hadn't seen before? Well, it's not that we hadn't seen, we've heard about it. it uh, it's a, a top-down construction technique that had been used on other projects by Airy Taylor, and uh, they offered that as, a, as an option for Coburn Gateway to uh, decrease the build time for us, hence that saved money for, the, for our client, the Perrin Group, and uh, we pursued that, and the ultimate result was very successful. Were there any design issues with this method? The, not really. The, design, the technique is very innovative in the essence that enables you to continue building above the basement where traditional basement methods, you dig a big hole, put in footings and walls and columns, then a roof slab and then you can't build on top until probably six months down the track. This enables us to, to continue to build on top almost from day one once the piles were, were drilled down and the columns were formed. So in that sense it uh, was quite an innovative design technique. So how did it turn out? Very successful in a word. Um, it saved us probably four months in construction time, hence that turned into several million dollar savings. So uh, in that sense it was very successful and the client was very happy. We're here with Peter Airy from Airy Taylor Consulting, Director of Airy Taylor Consulting and creator of Piles to Pillars technology and advanced substructures. Peter, how did this come about? The problem we found was that normal piles look very disreputable and they're not of an aesthetic quality which is appropriate for architectural structures. So the response ordinarily in the past has been to clad it with aluminium or something of that sort and we thought there was, had to be a better way. So let's talk about savings. What does this mean for the owner in terms of savings? Order of magnitude of cost saving, teaching, treating the project overall is so large that we have real trouble having people believe us. The order of magnitude on a project which we did uh, down at Coburn Central was that the original budget was 112 million and the actual tendered price was under 80 using these systems. But not only does it improve the cost of the construction, but it facilitates project delivery and abbreviates the time taken to, to construct to such an extent that they managed to get the project in that instance done eight months faster than they originally intended. And uh, we also were able to uh, have tenants in it prior to Christmas, which really matters for people who are selling stuff. And uh, from the owner's point of view, there were, there were the holding cost advantages and the, the big advantages of having the, the project earning for them much earlier. Now all of that rose out of the much quicker delivery of the project and, and uh, I must say that it's game changing. We're here with Stuart Coots who played a key role in construction. Let's go and see what he has to say. So Stuart, what was your company's involvement in the project? We designed and installed the piling for the, the top-down structure, so the internal piles and the perimeter piling. And what did you think of the engineering? Yeah, the engineering for the project uh, was very well delivered. Uh, there was a lot of um, forward uh, engineering that had to go into the project and a lot of... Uh, we carried out a Fordworks load test to verify 
the performance of the internal uh, pile as a column for its deflection criteria and carried out some trial drilling as well and additional soils investigation to supplement the, the information we had, uh, which then delivered the design intent, which was for uh, a structure that could be sequentially built and, and activated and used, which saved a lot of uh, time and increased the client's ability to use the site. What were the key advantages for you in, in construction? Uh, the advantages in construction are in the time that it takes to be able to use the project. In a typical excavation you've got to dig a hole and, and do your construction and then put your lid on. In this instance you're building the box in the ground and you get on with your construction above. So it takes all that excavation off critical path. It takes away a lot of deflection issues that you have with the perimeter walls and the way that it was engineered and delivered the issues with verticality and positional tolerance with the piles, columns, the piles that became pillars or columns, uh, there was very little work required to take the piles into a finished product. Would you recommend other property owners to, to look at this technique? I built my house using this technique, saved about three months on the construction program. Uh, if you can talk my wife into it, you can uh, talk anyone into it. <laughs> and as a builder, would you look at using this technique and this process again? Most definitely. Uh, the, the benefits for the builder uh, are several, but one of the key benefits that's often lost is the ability to be removing the substantial amount of soil in the basement off critical path and the environmental and uh, local uh, you know, constituents aren't being disturbed by a whole heap of dust and sand and that sort of thing and trucks being, being lined up when you have to make an excavation very quickly because it's on your construction program. So for example on one of the projects we did uh, the soil was using, they used a conveyor and the sand was actually sold so it was moved out as was needed uh, which gave another benefit to the builder. So there you have it, the jury's in advanced substructures, piles to pillars technology and Airy Taylor's other intellectual property with regard to cutting edge design for construction is really setting the pace and leading the way in construction. This is a relatively new concept, it's been used on a bunch of projects and it will certainly continue to set the standard in construction in Australia.